So, hello! This is a lesson on how to play Old Rocking Chair Blues by Martha Mia. This is a lovely uh, jazzy number. It's a slow blues and uh, we're going to have a little look at it. I'm going to play it the whole way through and then I'll play each hand and we'll break it down a little bit, okay? So, let's, let's give it a go, hands together. Okay, so that was the old rocking chair blues, and let's have a little look at the hand separate. Um, I think we'll start with the left hand, okay? And it's got a lot of repetition in the left hand, so that makes playing this piece a little bit easier. Um, if you just have a scroll through the music, through both pages, you can see that this little C pattern that we start with... <laughs> repeats quite a lot throughout the piece. So we've got that C pattern, and we've also got this F pattern that happens in bar four. Okay, so we've got a mixture of those patterns, um, and we're gonna play it in a swing style. So that means we're gonna swing all the quavers. So instead of playing them like this, we're gonna swing them so they're So I'm going to play the left hand the whole way through for you. Okay. Okay, so um, that was the left hand pattern. 
So did you notice how simple that was? You've got the C pattern uh, that happens in bar one and repeats a lot. And then we've got the F pattern that happens in bar four. Now, most of it is a repeat of those two patterns, but there are places we need to look out for changes in the music. So the first change happens in bar five, where we play the C pattern. And then we go down to this low G. Okay, so I'll show you that again. Low G. Okay, the fingers they've put in, you might want to do the fingers they've put in. Um, it's up to you, but they've put in five, one, two, one, little finger. Might be a bit easier to get to the G if you play it like that. Um, I played it with five, two, one, and then just stretched down. But if you do it with the fingers they've written in on bar five, it's much easier to get to that G. So I recommend using those fingers. Okay, so that bar five, you need to look out for. That's a change in the music. Um, and then where else? Um, we've got a little change in the music on bar 17 where in the left hand we do a fifth here we've got g and d we go one two three four one two down to the low g again i'm going to put our pedal down our sustain pedal which is the right hand pedal for those two notes in bar 17 okay so from bar sorry in bar 18 so from bar 17 this is the first change where we've got the fifth one two three So you can see we're going down to that low G again. And then we bring the pedal back up. And then we're back to this pattern again. And then up to the F one. And then in bar 21, we've got the low G coming in. So and then we got back to C. So we're pretty much doing that pattern. Let's just look at the last couple of bars because we can see it changes a little bit here. So we're looking at bar 27 and 28. We've got this pattern with the low G. And we're gonna put the pedal down there, lift it up, put it back down again, and then finish with the last bar. And put the pedal down again for those last two notes. So um, actually that last bar is, is different from the others, but the rest of it is really repetitive. Um, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Okay, so um, let's have a look at the right hand now. So we've got a little rest, a little rest for the first bar, and we come in a little bit towards the end of the second bar. Okay, so I'm going to count so you can hear how we come in one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let me try that again. <laughs> 